we often hear all these negative things about Spotify and the relationship with artists. What makes Spotify a good tool for artists and emerging artists? I mean, footprint, in all honesty. It's sort of like, you know, if you could get your CD into Walmart, certain times bands had a political or some sort of motivational objective to, to not want that, right? But ultimately, that's where the masses were going. And so getting your CD into Walmart meant you were going to sell more. You had the opportunity to sell more. And so Spotify is really that same thing to me. It's just, a, it's got the biggest footprint. So again, if you tell me about some artist that you just discovered, right? My first question is send me the Spotify link. If you send me to SoundCloud, I mean, yes, I'm in the music business. I can go and listen to something on SoundCloud. If I send that to my sister, chances are she's probably like, okay, why well, don't, you know, da, 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 da. So it's send, you know, it's sort of like, hey, to my sister, you got to go downtown, look for the graffiti in the bombed out building, make a left and there's the record store. When if she's going to Walmart to pick up, you know, groceries or whatever it is people buy there, you know, and, and, oh, there's that band Mike was talking about. It's just access and just footprint. And to me, I mean, there's just nothing that can replace that. If your goal is to have the chance of the best exposure possible. And what do you think about like the Spotify algorithm and the, and how that seems to be displacing things like, you know, music programmers at radio? I mean, I think it's interesting, you know, the times they do change and we got to change with them. You know, in some senses, I think that, that it's great. I mean, it, it takes away some of the uh, subjectivity to this. You and I come from an era where subjectivity was almost as important as objectivity. Okay, well, the landscape is changing and it's shifting where objectivity in terms of an algorithm, yeah, it is getting more of, uh, of a look. Is that right or wrong? I, don't, I can't really say. I can say that I like the fact that maybe my opinion of whether something is good or not means more than the computers, but is that actually true? I don't necessarily know. I think it's actually, you know, I think we're in a very interesting time um, and an exciting time. And if I could take away the energy of fighting all of these things and spend it into ways to promote, no matter what the platform, uh, I feel like I'm having, I'm having a better shot at it. So uh, beyond just, uh, you know, things like the, the, the Spotify generated playlists and playlists in general, and just the ease of being able to share the Spotify links, what are some of the other ways in which Spotify has been beneficial to your artists? You know, there's the uh, recommended uh, spots where if, if I like one artist and I go in and listen to who else is, is liking those things, you know, they've got some, some marketing initiatives that you can pay into, you know, they're relatively costly for a developing artist. Um, but by and large, it's, it's ease of use in all honesty. There's not much more to it than that. Has the, uh, the Spotify has like a, a, a shopping portal, a way for people to purchase uh, 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 LPs or uh, shirts, things like that. Has that developed at all? Or is that an opportunity for emerging artists? It exists. My experience has been that it doesn't, it pales in comparison to all of the other efforts that we're spending um, with those things. But again, you know, it, times change. And I think that avoiding something, uh, you know, I, I like to encourage myself and the artists that we work with to, to explore all of these opportunities and make sure that it is available because you and I have both watched it where the, the switch flips seemingly overnight. And so though right now, I don't think that it's a, you know, a, a significant portion of any of my artist business uh, that could change. And so I wanna be poised to be able to take advantage of that change if and when that day comes. Gotcha. So being there, having it, get, finding a way to make it work before Spotify finds a way to make it work when they flip that switch, because that's a revenue, potential revenue stream for them. And they find a way to put that right in people's faces and make it really uh, 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 effective. You'll already be poised. Well, to be clear, it exists there. I mean, merchandise yeah. is there, right? It's just that most and people- And they've, they've had it for a long time, so they haven't given up on it. 
yeah, it's just, you know, the primary functionality of Spotify at this moment is to listen to music. But, you know, look at Amazon and how much Amazon has changed since it first started. Mm-hmm. You know, no matter what the intentions of the founders are, oftentimes as things grow and build a large enough, you know, footprint, their objectives end up changing. Um, more and more people are trying to figure out, okay, you've got a confined, uh, you know, audience that comes to this place every day. Cool. You're giving them music. How can you give them something else? All right. Well, t-shirts and, you know, physical product is the place a way now that seems to make sense. That may never make sense there. Who knows what might make sense in the long run. So it's paying attention to those things. And when they are on offer, our artists have merchandise up there again. Not because it's a significant piece of our business, but if and when that comes, I don't want to be the guy that's scrambling to say, you know, a manager calls me and says, hey, my band sold 27 times more, you know, shirts via Spotify in the last week. I don't want to be the guy that says, oh, should I have shirts on Spotify?